Pauline Adamek, and this is Arts Beat LA. We're downtown LA at the studio of Michael Gardner, and we're here to just check out his art. Hi, Michael. Hello, welcome. Thanks. Very nice having you here. So let's talk a bit about your background and how you came to be an artist. Um, I'm specifically interested in your, your transition from Fargo, where you're from, to New York. Um, I think you're born an artist, and I think that's just the means through which I communicate. And something I discovered when I was a little boy, I was involved in an arts program in the seventh grade um, with a really tremendous teacher named Lauren Hildebeck. And she kind of gave me the confidence and interest to know that I can make artwork with other kids who are doing the same thing at the time. Um, I became very interested in fashion after I was a dancer for a number of years and had a leg injury. And I realized that I didn't want to be dancing anymore, obviously because I hurt myself, but also because I saw a longer picture as a communicator through my visual arts as opposed to being a dancer. And so I went to FIT in New York in 1988 and studied fashion and really loved the school and learned a lot. And then I worked in fashion. So despite many people being lovely and kind, is there's a, a real ugliness to the fashion industry that just didn't work for me. And having been a dancer, I just thought I'm gonna take my uh, performing experience and knowledge and my education in fashion and sewing and pattern making and combine it and I'm going to go work on Broadway and costumes. And that's exactly what I did in 1992. So Michael, let's talk in specifics about this series, which is very striking and the controversy that it sparked. This is actually evolved as a result of uh, the song by Patti Smith. Um, I believe the title is Land, where she sings about horses. And I recognized in me through that music the strife that adolescence is, maturity, recognizing your sexuality, uh, owning your body, owning your space, and the incredible amount of energy that drives your teen years. And I believe, and I found this to be true, the, rest, the remainder of your life as I'm still experiencing today. And recognizing that and trying to harness that and comment on it in these works. These are just two of the pieces so far um, of the series I just call Horses. I haven't really shown this artwork to anyone yet. I mentioned it on my blog and it, well, it was undergoing changes. But what I discovered is that when you paint the male body and you include the genitals, people get so razzed and so wound up. I found it dumbfounding. And so as an artist, I started making a book of nothing but penis drawings because I thought people are responding to this because I'm holding something about my body or the male body and it's being represented. And if I work through that, it will no longer be about a guy who's naked or seeing male genitals. It will be about the form, it'll be about the gesture, it'll be about the picture. And I would love to publish that book one day and I think it'd be a great, funny coffee table book. And my goal is to have Rizzoli publish it because it actually is 100 pages of really beautiful penises. Uh, and it's amusing, and it's very funny, and it's very tongue in cheek, and it's sarcastic, and it's cynical, and it's all of those things, which is kind of my dessert of life, is that viewpoint. So this is an interesting piece, this painted tire. What can you tell me about that? Um, I can tell you that on a hot afternoon, I blew this tire on the 170 freeway in the valley. And when I was changing it, I thought, I'm going to paint this damn tire. And so I did. I had been working on these, the colorful Desert Highway series, which is really what that looks like. And so I found a way to adhese the canvas to the tire using the same glue that Julie Taymor uses when her puppets are made. So I knew it would last forever. And, um, and I painted that. And this side is some of the farmstead scenery that is really dear to my heart because it's reflective of where I grew up in North Dakota and Minnesota. There came a time uh, about a year ago when I was feeling that we needed space between activities in our life. Uh, people want things to happen and they want them to happen now. And so much of our time is accumulated and taken up by our surroundings. Mm. And just like a musical refrain that allows a pause, or the next phrase begins, or a choreographic gesture that isn't constant movement but stops and allows you to recognize what happened before, before you continue on, is what contrived the relationship between black and white on these. And it's why I wanted to strip away all the color 
and allow for space between the things and the warping of time as we experience it in our 3D reality as it falls away as we pass it. Okay, so let's have a look at this series over here that I believe that you're building on it. Yeah. Um, this is a series that right now I call The Word and it, it really developed from a sense of studying portraiture. And I've been doing an exhaustive research study of portraiture for the last six months. And I've taken some things like Shirley MacLaine's book, Out on a Limb, text from that, and combined it with text from the Bible. I've taken text of tarot books and combined them with text from the Bhagavad Gita. I've taken text from um, the Kabbalah and combined them with uh, writings by uh, Sandra Bernhardt. When you make a picture or a painting, the written word is removed. So the painting gives you that space to kind of integrate and come up with your own language. I wanted to take both of them and put them together. So thank you very much for inviting Arts Beat LA to your studio. And uh, right now, this is the only place people can see your art, so we've got a little inside peek. How hard is it to get a gallery to show your works? Well, I like to think that it's not hard, and I like to think that the world is full of walls to share my artwork and show it on. Right now, I'm not currently represented by a gallery in Los Angeles. I have a manager in Texas who is promoting my artwork, but I would love to be in a gallery here in New York. And currently people can see my artwork on my website, which is michaelgardnerart.com. And a lot of my anecdotal stuff I write about on a blog, runswithbrushes.blogspot.com. And you can read more about it there, but I would love to get my work out there in a grander sense and have true gallery representation and be nice if that showed up. Mm. Well, oh, very cool. Thanks again for having us down here. Thank you. It's a, it's a real honor having someone to come and to share your work with them, and I really appreciate that.